We all remember well that Omaha in many ways led the fight against COVID-19 from the outset. And now with a few years of data and many still recovering from symptoms, that continues. One area doctor and scientists, they're seeing the damage to the lungs that just doesn't seem to get any better. 6 News' Brent Weber has more from Nebraska Medicine and UNMC. Emergency personnel like Bennington Volunteer Fire EMT Roger Crum were on the front line from the beginning. It was around the 1st of March 2020 when he became infected with COVID-19 after back-to-back -back rescue calls. He didn't know they'd be the last calls of his career. Wow. I, didn't end up, I spent five weeks in the hospital, almost three weeks in intensive care. My wife dropped me off at the front door of the ER because she was positive. I didn't see her for 30 days. One of Roger's doctors, UNMC's John Dickinson, said the one to two years of data he's seen shows 10 to 30 percent of hospitalized COVID-19 survivors like Roger have persistent lung damage, scarring and collapsed tissue, chronic damage like he hasn't seen with other viruses. Uh, these people had profound lung injury, the worst I saw in my career. So many of these people, the reality is they survived severe covid but they're still on oxygen for months, years. The recovery is very slow. What's different about COVID-19 is just the scale, the millions and millions of people that had COVID-19, and then the hundreds of thousands that are ICU survivors. And, and these are the, pap the population that we're watching very carefully to make sure that they do recover, um, or if they don't, what can we offer them in, in the way of treatment? In Roger's case, pulmonary rehab is teaching him his limits. An EMT since 1972, a paramedic since 1981, the future now looks completely different than what he and his wife imagined. I'm lucky. I know people that are truly incapacitated. I am restrained, of course. I am limited in certain things. The biggest thing that kills me is stairs, by far, which is why I can't do rescue calls anymore. I can't carry equipment up a fly stairs. Puttering around, playing with the grandkids, I'm okay. Dickinson said what they learned from the COVID clinics at UNMC has been folded into a larger research program, Recover. The bottom line, we and they still have much to learn about the long-term effects of severe COVID. On your side at UNMC in Omaha, Brent Weber, 6 News. And Brent will include links in his story on our website about the Recover program and other research for those with persistent lung damage due to COVID. Nebraska